What's going on guys? This is the Wobble Fett, and welcome to Winner's Round 2 of the Players' Cup 4 Global Finals. I am playing against Leonardo Bononomi, who goes by, I think, Il Bona online? Lil Bona? I, I don't know how to speak anything in Italian, <laughs> so um, I can't say for sure exactly how his online username is pronounced. Um, this was a fun matchup, um, not only for me to play against, um, like just the, it's a mirror, but it's a, it's a fun mirror. It's not a who wins a speed time mirror. Um, I mean, it can be, but um, it's typically not who wins a speed time mirror. So it's usually a, a nice balance oriented game um, where both players are just trying to vie for positioning. Um, I also thought it was kind of funny. Uh, our names happen to be so similar and our teams are so similar. The commentators also picked up on this. And they also um, would commonly uh, mix up our names. So Leonardo would be called uh, Leonard and vice versa. Um, although I think they, they called him Leonard more than they called me Leonardo. But regardless, uh, this, was, this was a fun matchup. Um, this is the team that I originally started with uh, when I was preparing for regional finals. I mean, besides Marco Fierro's, um, like, thunderous paste. Uh, this was the team that I practiced with originally before I switched off of Grimmsnarl. Um, and I know this mirror very well um, for a couple reasons. One, I practiced it before um, Global Finals started. Um, I wanted to make sure that I understood the matchup pretty well uh, because I expected Leonardo to bring this team. And I also wouldn't be surprised if other players had brought the team as well because of how well it did in Europe um, overall between the rest of the Italians like Francesco Pero, like Arasho Mati. Uh, well, I guess not Francesco didn't make it, but uh, like some of the other Italians that had done well with it or like BK had done well with it in the Smogon Tour. Um, I expected this team to be something that I needed to have a good matchup against and have an understanding of how to fight against it. When I was playing against it on ladder, um, I, I, I actually fought this quite often. I was laddering against somebody who was also playing uh, who was also practicing for Players' Cup at the same time for regional qualifiers. Um, I don't know, actually know who it was. I remember I asked them for advice about how to beat Colossal, and they said they didn't know, <laughs> which which didn't really help me at the time. Uh, but uh, switching to Goferi was my uh, Colossal matchup, um, if you will. But I also, I, I know a couple things about this matchup. Number one, um, my opponent is not going to bring Grimmsnarl or Registeel. Registeel never comes here. Registeel's awful in this matchup. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't do good versus Lando, it does terrible versus Spectre, um, it will likely it do poorly versus Reggie, like the Animal Trace as well. Uh, Grimstar also never comes, um, or at least if it does come, it's, it's, it's usually a big momentum sink. You usually want to bring, if you're Leonardo, you want to bring your four Pokemon that you have there on the right. Um, whereas for me, I have a little bit more flexibility in my choices. Um, I can bring either Clefairy or Blastoise. I'm definitely bringing a Lecky, Spectre, and... Um, Lando, uh, but I can bring either Clefairy or Blastoise. I can also bring both and leave behind, I don't know, I guess Spectrier. Um, but, um, or I could leave behind Lando and uh, just go in all in with a uh, Blastoise Max. You want your Regieleki, or I need my Regieleki in order to be able to deal with his Moltres. He wants Regieleki similarly uh, in order to be able to deal with my Blastoise. Um, and then also being able to Electroweb the opposing Spectrier is very important. This really is a Landorus Max. Um, mirror. Um, it's basically whoever gets their Dynamax going quicker is going to be the one who wins. So, um, this is this is a Landorus who can who can get their Swords Dance, who can get in without Intimidate, and who can go for a Max Airstream. So, I know how this matchup's supposed to go. Let's get into it. Uh, my opponent leads off with Regieleki and Spectre, which is pretty typical um, for what you would lead into this. Uh, as I lead with my own Regieleki and Landorus. So. The reason I lead with Landorus here is because it forces a lot of immediate pressure. Like I said, the name of this game is who can max with their Lando and get a lot of damage done. Now, my opponent doesn't know that I'm slow Regieleki. Um, so I know that this Regieleki is Focus Sash, and um, it's probably going to be Timid Max Speed uh, because that's what everybody else who uses this team runs. So they're going to be able to get off a faster Electroweb on my Regieleki, and that would enable them to use Willow Wisp onto my Landorus. I can't afford to risk that, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch out. My opponent... Um, also doesn't want to risk a speed tie so early um, and just switches out into their own Landris, which is good for me because I switch out afterwards, which means my Landris is going to be able to come back in later. As long as I hit the Electroweb on the Spectre, I'm looking good because the Electro uh, uh, putting the Spectre at lowered speed is a very important part of this matchup uh, because then my Landris is going to be able to outspeed it and knock it out with the Max Airstream as opposed to being pressured by the uh, Will-O-Wisp. 
Um, and speaking of the Will-O-Wisp, it was aimed at the Landers, but hits into Clefairy. I'm much happier to see Clefairy take the attack. However, because Landers is in right now, it's not super ideal. Um, I do have a free Volt Switch or Thunderbolt into the Spectre. I will be able to just knock it out. Um, they, they won't be able to stop me from doing that. So, like, for example, I could go for Helping Hand Volt Switch into Spectre. I could go for uh, Thunderbolt into Spectre. And I decide to go for Thunderbolt Sing. Uh, my opponent doesn't actually have any plays that can cover this. Um... They could just go straight out for the max on Lando and max flying into my Clefairy, but doing so will mean that they're going to be at minus one and behind in Dynamax turn, so I just decided to go for Sing um, rather than the Helping Hand Volt Switch. Um, it also is it also guarantees my Landorus stays healthy. I would love to, like, Helping Hand Volt Switch into my own Landorus. Um, but then, again, I'm only at... Um, I'm going to be at neutral. They're going to be at plus one. But So instead, I go for the Sing. Miss. If I hit the Sing there, that's going to be really good for me. They'd have to burn turns at max. In order, or they'd have to burn turns of sleep. And by that time, I should be able to get my Landorus in and max flying them. Um, which would force them to Dynamax uh, potentially sleeping Landorus. So that would have been good. Uh, another important thing to keep in mind about this matchup is that... Uh, again, it's going to be a who maxes their Landorus matchup. And I'm pretty confident that my opponent is running Jolly. Um, and I'm no, I'm running Adamant. The reason I'm confident they're running Jolly is because, again, this seems to be what the Italians like to use with their Landorus on this team. They like to be running Jolly, and that's going to be annoying for me. Um, it means that they're going to outspeed my Landorus pretty much with certainty. Um, I've got to be careful about what I want to do here. My Spectrier is potentially useful. As my opponent goes into Moltres revealing their final Pokemon, again, not a surprise to me. This is what I expect to bring, see in the matchup. Now, because they haven't boosted their speed yet with Max Airstream, what I expect them to do is protect their um, Moltres and go for a Max Airstream. That seems to be the most plausible play to me. That's typically what you do in, in this sort of situation. So they're probably going to Max Flying like Clef. They don't want to take a, a Sing chance. Um, this would put their Moltres at plus one speed. If I stay in to try to Thunderbolt them, um, I'm going to be put far, too far behind too quickly. Um, like I could, what I could do is I could like follow me Thunderbolt the uh, Moltres, and then next turn they would be forced to switch out their Moltres. But it doesn't really get me that much, so I'd much rather just get my um, Reggie Lucky off the field and potentially give it a speed boost later with my own Landorus, so that way I can outspeed their Moltres and knock out with a Thunderbolt because the Lando is going to max. I'm certain of that. Um, it's already got a plus two attack boost. Um, there's no way it's going to do anything else. But I do know the Moltres is going to protect this turn because, again, they, they don't want to take the Thunderbolt. They don't want to just have that fall. Because if they do, then they only have their Landorus to be able to knock out my Landorus. Um, and although they have the uh, boost right now, um, it is very reasonable for me to be able to Intimidate Cycle on them with the uh, Regilecki being their uh, last Pokemon. So. Uh, the Protect here is uh, important for Clefairy as well. It enables me to survive this incoming Max move. Um, and this will allow me to redirect away the uh, Landris' attack on the following turn. So Landris does go for Max Airstream. Uh, if it's into a Lucky, that's really bad, but thankfully it is into Clefairy, so Clefairy's able to survive this hit. Not well, mind you, but it is able to take the hit. Um, and I am still not in a good spot by any means, but I can force my opponent's hand a little bit. So my opponent, if they want to, can go for a Max Flying plus a uh, Fiery Wrath into my uh, they can go for max flying and fiery wrath and that would knock out my my spectre uh, because they would remove my friend guard but um, doing so would come at the cost of me being able to send in my reggie like actually no that would be terrible because they could just max quick to protect actually this would be really bad um, <laughs> if they did go for the fire wrath but I have expected them to go for the nasty plot here um, because they're running low on max turns and they want to make sure that their landers is effective on the following turns um, so I, ha I have expected the nasty plot um, and I went for the will o -Wisp. If I hit the will o -Wisp, this is going to be really important because I'll have neutered the Landris' attack. I'll send in my Landris. They'll be a plus one burn, which is much more manageable. Um, and they've only, they've gotten two um, Airstreams off, which is bad, but at the very least, those Airstreams are into my uh, Clefairy, which is a Pokemon that I'm happy to have take the Dynamax attacks. I do hit the will o -Wisp as well, which is really good. So Moltres being at plus two is bad. Uh, it is going to be able to survive this attack with, uh, without any trouble. Another really annoying thing is that I really don't want them to get too many more speed boosts with their uh, Moltres. If they get another speed boost with Moltres, my Regilecki won't be able to outspeed them at plus one. My Regilecki at plus one should be able to outspeed their Moltres at plus two, uh, assuming nothing is bizarre there. Uh, Regilecki just has way more speed than Moltres, uh, so even though my Reg Regilecki is fairly slow, I'm going to be able to outspeed the Moltres at, at plus one if they're at plus two. So if I get an Airstream boost on, on my Lando, 
and then I can use another Airstream boost to um, put my uh, Reggie Alecky faster. I think that's going to be pretty good. So here I'm inclined to go for the Max Guard just to block the Max Airstream. I, I'm expecting my opponent to go for the Max Airstream into Landorus and Fiery Wrath. That's going to do a lot of damage to me. Um, and also by using Max Guard, I can uh, remove my opponent's uh, additional bulk from Dynamax, which means I'll be able to knock it out on the following turn. So uh, overall, I feel like a Max Guard here makes a lot of sense. I don't really have much else to do <laughs> with my, my Spectre Air. It is kind of sitting useless on the field. I expect it to go down. I don't expect my opponent to go for another Nasty Plot because they want to go for Fiery Wrath to deal as much damage to my Landers as possible. So I do expect my Spectre to go down, but um, if I happen to get an attack off uh, Shadow Ball, Moltres will be most effective because the Landers is already going to be in K range with my Max Airstream because they're likely not going to be able to have the opportunity to switch out and back in. So I do Max my Lando. I'm going to go for Max Guard. If they Airstream into my... Um, if I Airstream into my Spectre predicting this, great for them. That would be a really hard read, though. And uh, I expected Leonardo to play a lot more positionally rather than trying to make this big read for potentially very low reward. If I, if I, you know, if I just attack them, that would have been a really bad play on their part. Um, and they just go for the positional play, just go for the Fiery Wrath, knock out my, um, my poor, poor Spectre. Spectre is not able to take a Fiery Wrath from that range. Um, I'm not actually... I, I should have calculated this prior to the, the set. I think my uh, Spectre could have actually survived a uh, neutral Fiery Wrath uh, without Friend Guard at single target. I'm not 100% sure, though. But with this, my opponent's uh, Landris' Dynamax is done. I'm going to be able to put a plus one speed boost now onto my Landris, but I want to be careful. I, I want to guarantee that I get this Airstream off. So I don't want to Airstream into the Landorus' Fly. If I Airstream into Lando's Fly, that would be really bad for me. Um, I would be put behind. I would only get one more attack off. Um, I would get, to be fair, the attack into Landorus, but the Moltres would outspeed my Regilecki, be able to go for a Fiery Wrath. Um, and then I would have to use my Airstream to KO the Lando. I'm not going to be faster than the Moltres. It would be able to knock me out with another Fiery Wrath. So I'm more inclined to attack the Moltres here. But that kind of goes against my game plan that I had earlier. Um, I wanted to use a, put an Airstream boost on Regilecki to kill the Moltres. I don't really need to use my Landorus to attack Moltres, and it's kind of annoying that I have to here, or that I feel pressured to. Uh, but it still should be okay. My opponents, uh, what, I mean, what's their other play that they can use to punish this? They can go for Rock Slide, right? And then it goes for Sword Stance. I'm like, shoot, that was a really smart play. Um, because of this, they, they called me not going for the attack. If I if I had gone for the max fly into Landorus there, this game is over. Uh, my opponent has no way of winning this game. Uh, or, well, do they have some way of winning this game? No, I don't think so. I think they have no way of winning the game. Uh, because if I go for the uh, max flying into Lando there, my Regilecki is faster than their Moltres. I go for Thunderbolt. I go for another max flying just to ensure that I remain faster. And then my uh, Lando and... I'd like to be able to clean up, but because they've gone for the uh, Swords Dance, now I'm kind of screwed because they're going to go for Fly this next turn, and I can't do anything about it. So what I realized then is that last turn was technically a 50-50. So it was technically a 50-50 because if I go for the Airstream and the Lando there, um, I would win the game, but I didn't think about that at the time. Uh, and so I don't consider that a 50-50. I think that was just a good play on my opponent's part. Um, and now I'm super far behind uh, because, again, I can't airstream into the land. I mean, I can predict this and attack the Regilecki, sure, but what what <laughs> what, what what good does that do me? I, I, I don't get anything out of attacking the Regilecki here. Um, uh, if, if I attack Regilecki, so what? Uh, it doesn't matter if I outspeed this Landorus here. Uh, they're at plus two speed. Even if I go to plus two speed, like I said, I don't expect myself to outspeed them um, because I'm very confident that they're going to be jolly. Um, and so I have to just airstream the Lando and just hope they're not clicking fly. Or, more realistically, hope that even if they click fly, and they do click fly, and they do target my Landorus, you can tell there based on the animation. Although you didn't see my Landorus there, you could tell that it was focused on my Landorus and not on my Regielecki. Um, and so we trade Thunderbolts with our Regieleckis, but that doesn't matter. At this point, I've got to dodge fly. That's my only way of winning this game. Um, there, there's nothing else that I can do. Um, but I can't myself go for fly, because if I go for fly, uh, that won't win me the game. Um, if I if I go for, like, going for fly doesn't win me the game, because if I go for fly, um, and they miss fly, then they're just going to go for fly themselves. Wait, no, actually, that would work. Yeah, yeah, no, right, that would work, yeah. So I do need, uh, yeah, I need them to miss, I need them to miss fly. 
Um, and then they go for fly, then I go for fly, and I can do the flies forever because they're burned. That's right. Yeah, okay, so that would work. So I need them. I need to dodge fly, um, which is only a 5% chance of happening. Um, and uh, that is, you know, I've, I've had worse things <laughs> happen to me, but uh, fortunately for my opponent, uh, you know, from their perspective at least, uh, they don't miss the fly, and fly is easily, easily going to be able to knock me out. Um, even though I have the burn on them there at plus 3 attack, uh, that's easily going to out damage my landorus there with its low amount of HP, or its middling amount of HP. And so now I can even up the score with a Thunderbolt, but I'm not actually going to be evening up any scores um, because my opponent is just going to be able to click Earthquake and take a knockout. So uh, they failed all protect, it doesn't matter. Um, my Reggie Like is at plus one speed, so they're not going to learn any speed information out of this. Um, my plus one Reggie Lucky still outspeeds their plus two Lando, which is again not unusual either. Uh, you can see Reggie Lucky is already fast enough to do what it's supposed to do. Um, so Earthquake is going to knock me out. There's nothing I can do about that. So that's game one. Um, a nice positional game, honestly. Like you can't complain about that one bit. Um, it was both of both of us were making really nice safe plays. Um, there wasn't any like big reads that were available to either of us. Um, it was just a nice game of positioning. Um, and my opponent ends up coming out on top by Dynamaxing with their Landers a little bit early, I'd say, because it pressured me into a different option. I, I had to max with my Landris in order to cover them, and one of those turns involved me having to go for a max guard. So overall, I think that was a really well-played uh, game by Leonardo. And now we're going in here into game two. So... This is still not good, though. Um, in practice, this went a lot better than what, it, what what happened here. In practice, it was all positional games as well. Perhaps I was just out-positioning my practice partners, um, but that but that wasn't good. Now, I do have a mix-up available to me. So, in my in my regional final sets, I had mix-ups um, in case something like this happened. Um, uh, you saw me do this in, uh, in Swiss, when, or not in Swiss, but in, when I was playing against Arsenal. Um, I mixed things up, although what I said like was my optimal lead, I, I mixed things up because I felt like I had a, a switch up here. This time I'm not mixing thing up, things up because I'm winning, I'm mixing things up because I'm losing, and that's not good. Um, I need to uh, adjust. One of the adjustments that I'm inclined to make here is not bringing Spectre. So although I expect my Spectre to be faster, I don't expect that to actually matter. So because my Spectre, my, my Spectre is always pressured on the board. Um, if I can Willis or Lando, that would be great, but my opponent has pretty easy options of going for, like, Electroweb and Shadow Ball into it. That's going to do a lot of damage. Electroweb Snarl is even more effective, I think. Um, and being able to slow me down is is just too problematic, so I'm, I'm leaving Spectre behind this time um, in favor of the Blastoise. So Blastoise, its main advantage here is that it's going to be able to survive an attack from Landorus, um, and I'll be able to deal heavy damage back with Ice Beam or go for Yon. I also have the alternative max option, um, and by leading with my Blastoise as well, I bluff that I'm not bringing my Landorus, although I fully intend to Dynamax my Landorus this game. In testing, I also was not Dynamaxing my, um, I wasn't Dynamaxing my Blastoise very frequently when I was doing this. I was using it just because it was a Pokemon that learned Ice Beam and Yawn, um, more than anything else. Uh, and so I'm very happy here just to Electroweb my opponent on lower their speed, and that will put my landers in a great spot next turn so this is looking a lot better for me my opponent does go for the electro web which means they can't have a huge punish shadow ball isn't going to do very much to my red deal like he uh, a snarl would be annoying it will reduce the damage output um but it my red like will be at above half hp and i'll be able to get an electro web off on them next turn which forces them to go for another electro web again in order for the spectra out speed so I, I don't do as much damage as I was hoping, but it's still fine. Um, next turn, I'm inclined to go for another Electro Web, or I could go for a Volt Switch, uh, because since I've lowered their speed in this now, I go for a Volt Switch, go into my Landorus, and do the exact same thing, uh, but Electro Web, yeah, makes sense too. I also don't think it's very likely that um, my opponent is going to be Will Wisping. Oh, wait, no, actually, I, I remember, yeah, yeah, okay, so my opponent can Will Wisp the Blastoise slot here. Um, because they should expect me to bring Lando even if I do bring Blastoise, even if I intend to max Blastoise. Uh, and that's why they didn't go, like, all in there with, him, like, a max Reggie, like, he did just knock me out. I mean, because they know better. They, they know that that's probably not going to work. Uh, and so this time they just go for the 
uh, Thunderbolt, and I miss the Spectre with Electro. I'm like, darn it, that really sucks because um, if I hit the Electro Web, then I would be able to um, pressure the Spectre with a knockout, but now I can't. Uh, the Spectre does go for Willops again into my Clefairy, so kind of similar to Game One where Clefairy ends up taking the burn. But that, that dodge on Spectre really sucks for me. I, I wish I had hit because I would have uh, dealt just a little bit more damage that my Regilecki needed to pressure this Spectre with a helping hand attack. Since they've gone for um, Thunderbolt this turn rather than another Electroweb, my Regilecki is now faster. So I, I would have had that pressure available to me. Maybe force them to go into Lando. I can use that pressure to target the Regilecki. But now I don't have that pressure available to me. Uh, the Spectre is safe on this turn. Uh, and they're inclined probably to go for Taunt here into my Clefairy as well. Um... All in all, it's not great. Uh, I've taken a lot of damage on Michael Ferry for not much in return. Um, Clefairy was thankfully able to take that damage pretty well. I mean, it's above half HP right now, but it's not good for me to have taken that much damage because it means I'm only going to be able to get off one follow me potentially here upcoming. My opponent does switch out their Regilecki as well into Landorus. Um, if I Volt Switch into the Landers here, I mean, that would just be truly terrible. Um, it would be kind of like Game 1, but a little bit worse um, because I've already taken a damage on my Pokemon. So Michael Ferry does go for Protect. Like I say, I want to stop the Taunt. If they go for Taunt, that would be really, really bad. But I did not Volt Switch into the Reggie. Lucky I did Volt Switch into the Spectre. Spectre doesn't have Protect, so that was part of my thought process there. And now I go into my Blastoise because I don't want to, again, risk them going for the Will-O-Wisp. They've already shown that they're willing to go for that Will-O-Wisp. Um, and so I'm just going to go hard into Blastoise. Plus, I haven't revealed my Landorus yet. Um, and Landorus would be a decent switch in there as long as I'm you know, willing to accept the risk of Will-O-Wisp. Um, but I wasn't. And now I have a, a nice Ice Beam into the Landorus. That's going to do some good damage. And I can switch back into my Regieleki, um or into my Landorus. Um, I don't remember which one I actually went into here, but um, Landorus is good because uh, it enables me to... It, it, it sets up me up for our Dynamax. Uh, Regilecki is good because I expect them... I have expect them to switch their Landorus out here. But I don't want to, like, hard read that they're going to switch out their Pokemon. I mean, they could just go for a Dynamax, um, but it's not especially likely. Um, Landorus does switch out, though. Um, so switching in my Regilecki would have been a little bit better. Not terribly much better, though, as my opponent does switch in their Regilecki. So my Ice Beam isn't going to be able to knock this thing out. But because the Spectre is at lowered speed, uh, although I missed the one Electro earlier, at least I did hit that first one. Uh, my Landers is going to be able to outspeed the Spectre and be able to knock it out. So um, this is still looking good for me, and I doubt it's very likely my opponent goes for the Willow Wisp into a Burned Clefairy. Instead, they go for the Snarl, which makes a lot more sense to me. Um, so Snarl is able to lower the special attack of both my Pokemon here. Um, which is annoying, but again, not the end of the world. Um, I get an Ice Beam off into Regilecki. That's probably going to put it in KO range of another Ice Beam, as it does. Um, now I can go for the Max Airstream um, or Swords Dance. Um, I'm not so much inclined to go for Swords Dance here, though. Swords Dance would be bad if... I mean, if they go for Willows and hit it, that would be really terrible for me. Um, so I, uh, this time, I'm just inclined to uh, double target the Spectre uh, and just hit it as hard as I can. If they want to stay in with their Spectre, I'm going to be able to knock it out. And if they go into land, I'm going to get a big, powerful Ice Beam off. But my opponent makes a really smart play. And this is just... I feel like I'm kind of getting handled here. Because that was just a really... Like, that was such a, a smart play. Because I have to go for Airstream here into the Spectre. Like, I don't have to. I could do something else. But I'm very inclined to go for Airstream here into Spectre. Which means that my most likely play is going to be Ice Beam into the Aleki. Because... It covers a Lando switch in, and it hits the Regieleki pretty hard. But that's really punishable if they switch in their own Moltres, because that's going to give them a weakness policy boost, and that gives them an alternative max option, um, which isn't good. Um, and even if they don't want to max it, even if they want to stay with Landorus as the max, I'm at minus one, um, and I've done... Uh, this is going to do pitiful damage to Moltres. I'm not going to be able to do... Like, this This is just isn't going to do that much. Um and yeah, as you can see here, that takes, what, like a quarter of its health? That's terrible. That's a, that's an awful trade for me. The one upside of this is because my Blastoise already has plus one speed, my Landorus is going to be able to give it another speed boost. And because I have the Wakan Berry on Blastoise, they can't just send in Regieleki and knock me out. So I can go for another max Airstream and yawn the Moltres, which will prevent it from dealing, you know, to being as effective as what it otherwise could be. And my opponent also goes into their Landorus, so... Um, if I want to, I can also go for the double target into Landorus. I can go for Airstream and Ice Beam into that. Um, but I've got to respect this Moltres here. Um, 
I, you can see initially that I was very inclined to double target the Landorus. Um, because if I knock out the Landorus, that'd be really, really, really good for me. Um, it would mean my Reggie liking the back is much safer. Uh, but I don't, I, I don't feel like I can afford that at this point. Um, so I'm going to mix up my targeting. Um, go for the Airstream into Landorus. That's not going to knock it out in one hit. That's going to do a ton of damage to it. If they go into their own Regieleki, um, like if they switch it out and then switch it back in to try to like Intimidate Cycle and then just win with Moltres solo, um, they, can, they can try to do that. Um, but I will get a Yawn off on the Moltres. So I feel like this covers the most options my opponent has available to them. Dynamaxing Moltres, like even if they don't Dynamax Moltres, a Fiery Wrath is going to do a lot of damage to both my uh, Landorus and my Blastoise. So all in all, I'm not feeling great here. I am going to take another knockout, though, for sure, um, this turn. And that's that's always good to have another knockout down. But it's not the Landorus, and I really want the Landorus dead. Because if Landorus is dead, then my Regilecki should be okay versus the uh, remaining Moltres there in the endgame. As long as it doesn't get two speed boosts, I'll be okay. Or as long as I can yawn it and it sleeps for uh, enough turns, I should be all right. So things are going out probably about the best I could have hoped for. Um, I think the only harder punish that I could have made on this turn was potentially airstream into the Moltres itself uh, to put some extra damage on it, but maybe uh, Yon, maybe um, talking on knocking out the Reggie like he was better there anyway. Regardless, um, I am going to put a Yawn on this Moltres, but I'm, it's going to take some <laughs> time for this to actually uh, do anything useful. The max airstream into Blastoise is easily going to knock it out, and my Clefairy is at very low HP. And my Regieleki is also not looking super great. Um, if I go into Clefairy, I'm just going to... Like, if I go into Clefairy, I can I, I can Helping Hand Max Airstream to Lando, but that won't knock it out. Um, it would put it into KO range of uh, another attack, though, which is good. Um, I'm also worried a little bit about them going for another Swords Dance here. Uh, because they've, they've got one Airstream boost, and I have two, which is good. Um, if I go for my third Airstream boost, that guarantees my Landorus will be the fastest thing at the end of at this exchange. Um... So what I expect to happen here is basically I want I want Clefairy to die. Um, if Clefairy dies, then my what I'm hoping here is that my Landorus is going to do enough damage to their Landorus that uh, oh I also like if if I um, if I just send in like Regilecki and I go for Del Protect and they airstream into my Regilecki that would put them faster than my Regilecki so I can't afford to do that. Uh, so that's why I'm going for this play and going for Follow Me because um, this will guarantee that they're remaining. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should have gotten the Reggie Lucky. Talking about these plays more makes me realize what other options I had available to me. Um, I definitely can't go for Helping Hand, though, with this board state, because my opponent is going to target the Landorus, and uh, if Landorus goes down, spoiler alert, uh, I will not win this game, <laughs> uh, because my Reggie Lucky cannot touch the Landorus, so. I do just go for the Max Airstream into their Lando. This is my final turn of Dynamax. That's not a lot of damage. You can see that it would have knocked it out at full if I was at um, plus zero attack, but I am not at plus zero attack. I am at minus two, so this is not good. I've, I've got to somehow weave in another attack here. Um, if I, like, uh, Rock Slide isn't going to do a ton of damage to this Landorus. Thankfully, I am going to outspeed it with my Landorus for sure because of my plus three. But I'm also kind of worried now. <laughs> Uh, because although this Moltres is going to fall asleep, and they actually go for Rock Slide instead of Swords Dance, so I'm like, perfect, okay, that's great. Um, so they don't, they can't go for, like, Fly or something, um, which would have been annoying. Um, but now, I'm kind of worried, like, my Reggie Lucky, if they're jolly, and they're sufficiently fast, they will actually have to be my Reggie Lucky. And now, all the four speed, no speed Reggie Lucky haters in the chat be like, <laughs> What kind of dumb situation is that? That your Reggie Lucky is going to outspeed the plus one Lando. But um, he doesn't know that. At least not yet. <laughs> so it's still not over. Um, my Thunderbolt is definitely going to do enough to this Moltres um, to put it in the KO range of, like, say, a Rock Slide. But it's still not looking good. Um, I'm likely, thankfully, I'm probably not going to die to a Rock Slide from their Landorus, which is why I'm glad they didn't go for the Sword Stance. If they had gone for Sword Stance... Uh, then I think I may have... I, I, I don't know if I would have been in KO range of another Rock Slide. Maybe it would have been so close because I wouldn't have done the initial Rock Slide chip damage. Uh, but they can't go for Fly because if they go for Fly, then I'm just going to go for Fly. Um, well, I guess that's not good for them either. Um, no, because we, we would Fly Loop forever um, and I would win that exchange um, because I have another Pokemon I can, I can win on timer. 
So yeah, that will work for me. Talk about all these fly loops. Fly, fly loops are, um, I don't know, is that like the next cereal brand? Fly loops, you got fruit loops. What other kind of loops you got? You got yawn loops. I didn't get to do any yawn loops in this tournament. Anyway, <laughs> uh, my opponent here, uh, probably wishing they had gone for the Swords Dance, um, but they didn't, and now uh, they basically, I think they're just going to go for Rock Slide. They don't go for Earthquake here, that's for sure. Uh, I go for Rock Slide. If I get a flinch, that would make things so much easier, because then the next turn I can just go for another Rock Slide. Um, Thunderbolt's easily going to be able to knock out Moltres from this range. They have to stay asleep because of the on. Um, and they can see at this point that Rock Slide is faster, um, and it dodges Reggie Lucky, which is perfect. Um, my Landorus is able to survive that attack. Um, and so if Reggie Lucky had not dodged there, uh, I would have had to... Like, like if, it had, if it had flinched, if it had flinched, then it would have been bad. I would have survived the attack. That, that's that's not in question here. Um, I would have definitely survived the attack, but um, if I had flinched, it would have made things awkward. Um, but now things are a lot less awkward. I'm not going for fly here. Fly is stupid. If they go for their own fly, I would just lose the game. So I'm fine with just taking the, you know, fight. I have a 10% chance to lose here. I got to hit my rock slide. Um, if I miss rock slide, they also might be in K range of their own life orb recoil. Um, and if they are, then they would use their own rock slide, uh, knock me out, and still knock themselves out. So even if I mix rock slide here, as long as they're in KO range of their own life orb recoil, um, I will win this game. And that's why I go for protect there, because if I miss and they go for rock slide, connect, and they're in KO range of their life orb recoil, then it would knock them out. And I think they were at that point. Looks like 10% to me, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe my eyes aren't as good. I, I don't want to be super confident on that, um, especially so close there. But thankfully, I don't have to figure out whether or not the life orb landorus was in KO range of its own attack there. I'm just able to knock it out. So, a nail biter of an end game there. And my opponent has figured out something very important because they've seen their interaction with Landorus and Regilecki now. Now they know my Landorus, or now they know my Regilecki is slow, um, and that's not super great. Um, it means that they will be able to, uh, like, they, they can they can do a couple more things with certainty now that they may not have felt so comfortable with doing otherwise. But um, my Blastoise there. Although it was cool, I got the on off, that was really nice. It still felt like Blastoise wasn't the play. Um, I felt like that the sort of thing that I did in game one, or game two there only works once with pressuring the Blastoise. So I either have to like commit to maxing my Blastoise now or not bring it at all because Blastoise there didn't really do that much. Um, you see in the end, it really mostly helped my opponent, I think by going for the Ice Beam and the Mulch Race, um, it put me in a lot worse situation than I would have been otherwise. Now, granted, maybe I misplayed, maybe I should have gone for Yawn, but I didn't find it as effective as just playing in game one and just playing some of those later game turns better. Because remember, I, I win that game if I go for Max Airstream into their Landorus in the end game. Um, so I'm more inclined to try this again. I also don't want them to lead like Lando straight up into me. Um, Cause leading Lando into Regilecki like um, Vectura would be really bad for me because I know the Regilecki is faster. So I'm gonna basically try the same thing um, as I did game one. Now, obviously I lost in game one, but I felt like um, I just had to play a little bit different. I also don't think, so if my opponent leads with um, Spectre again, I don't think they're gonna will us my Lando again. Um, this, this is just a hunch. So, at this time, this is what I'm thinking. I don't think they're going to will this by Lando again. Because every time I've switched out, um, or and like every time I've had the potential to switch in and I've respected their option, um, I, I don't risk it. So I'm thinking here, okay, what if I go for the Protect in Earthquake? Um, that would do a ton of damage to both their Pokemon. Um, and then, um, I mean, Regilecki can't touch me. If they don't go for a will wisp then Earthquake would do a massive amount of damage to both. Um, and next turn, I can go for Thunderbolt or Volt Switch into Spectre, and I can get the Intimidate advantage. And so I'm really, really here debating on going for that. Um, uh, you can see me. I'm I'm also hovering over the Electro Web play. I end up chickening out. I really I you don't see it from my plays there, but trust me, I was thinking about going for Protect Earthquake here. Uh, I didn't. I'm like, I can't bother risking it. I know my Landorus is so critical to this game. Uh, I can't I can't go for this because they always max their Landorus, and then I'm like. Oh no! <laughs> I'm like, they they just hard read me. 
they went for Electro Web Max Ghost, and they knocked out my Aleki. I, 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 I knew this was what was coming. I'm like, because they know that it's not a speed tie. Uh, and they know how I've played it every single time this so far. Um, they know I haven't, you know, I've respected the Will-O-Wisp. And so their punish for respecting the Will-O-Wisp was just maxing. And that's so bad for me. Um, I'm like, dang, he got me. He, he, he got me good. Uh, this is easily going to knock out Aleki. Um, all the bulk in the world isn't going to let you survive that attack. Um, I, that, that kills it full. Um, even with four special attack. Um, and the Electro Web Chip certainly ensures it. So. At this point, what do you do? Um, that was my speed control down. I can max my Landorus. But it's going to take me a couple of turns to get through this Spectre, which is already boosted. I can't go Clefairy. Um, if I go Clefairy and I, what, follow me and snarl, <laughs> like, what does that do for me? Um, Lando isn't going to be able to win this game on its own. He's got to have too many healthy Pokemon to be able to do this. So I've got to go Lando. I've got to max it. Um, now, granted, I will have my Landorus beside Clefairy. Um, it's not the end of the world um, that, I, that this happened to be. Um, I can still go for Max Flying into Spectre and knock it out in two hits. Um, but they certainly got Lando in the back. They're going to put an Intimidate on me. And moreover, they have a free Bolt Switch into my Spectre as well. I can't stop that. I, I, I don't have anything that can punish that. So they're going to get damage on my Clefairy. Um, they can double that slot. They can get damage on my Lando. I'm going to get Speed Control here. Um, they're, they're not going to have that. That's, that's the one thing that's, that's going for me here. I, I'm going to get Speed Control and they're not going to have it. But at this point, also, how do I beat their... Like, I, I, my Landers has to beat all their Pokemon. Um, Spectre is not going to do it. Um, unless, you know, I get Spectre in and out somehow, and I can get a Shadow Ball off on this on their own Spectre. Unless I can get Speed Boost on Spectre, it's not going to work. They've got Moltres in the back. I, 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 <laughs> this is just so bad. My opponent made... Like, that was such a good play from Leonardo. Like, that was such a good play. Um, it capitalized perfectly on the sort of plays that I had been doing. Um, and... Uh, like, bad props to them. I, I thought that, I, like, I, when, I, when I saw that happen to me, I'm like, dang, they got me. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't complain. Uh, they just, they just got me. Uh, so Orlando is gonna max here with friend guard support. I am gonna be able to take this hit pretty well. Um, but like I say, Volt Switch into Clefairy is gonna do some damage. Um, I'm not dead, but <laughs> I'm, I'm being, an, I'm being kind of a negative Nancy um, because you gotta think like. From your position, if you are in my shoes here, how do you win this game? Uh, can you can you tell me what what I'm supposed to do to win this game? Uh, and if you can figure it out, please let me know in the comment section on, on what exactly, like what set of plays I have available to me that can possibly win this game. Certainly, one of the things I have to do is I have to outplay my opponent on every single turn um, from this point on. These defense drops are also going to suck because my Lando has to stay in. My Lando is not switching out ever at this point because I've got my Airstreams. Uh, and so that means their Lando is going to do a lot of damage to me with Rock Slide. So even just stray hits are going to do a lot of damage. I'm going to put myself in KO range. Like, I'm, I'm nearly at health, half health already. This, this just isn't good. Um, I am going to be able to knock out the Spectre. Since I did about 40% this first time, a Helping Hand, Max Airstream should be able to pick up the Spectre the second time. If they go for Max Guard, this is over. This is like Omega over because I'll have wasted a turn of Max. Um, and so I'm hoping they're just going to let me take Spectre. If that happens, then maybe there's a case to be had, but it's still looking bleak. Um, because even if the, land if the Lander stays in here, it can go for Rock Slide, deal heavy damage, it can go for Earthquake. Knock out Michael Ferry. He can go for Swords Dance. He can go for Fly. Um, Fly is bad. Fly would um, deal heavy damage to my Landers because it's already at minus one defense. Um, all this is just just horrible. Um, but my opponent does not go for the Max Guard, um, and which means I will be able to knock them out with Max Airstream. Now, I don't actually know if this is a roll or not. I assumed it wasn't because the first one did about 40. Um, and 40 times 1.5 is about 60, so... Uh, seems pretty likely that I'm going to be able to get to KO there. So I do knock out their Spectre. Um, so they only, in fairness, got two turns of their Dynamax, but those two turns were um, two very, very pivotal turns. And my opponent does go for Fly. Targeting Lando there because um, you didn't see a target Clefairy, so uh, I know that's where that's aimed. Um, and I remember at this point I was also calcing whether or not 
my lander is at minus one with friend guard would be able to actually take this hit um and it's only able to take it with friend guard so i have to stay in with my landerus which is just just terrible <laughs> like like <laughs> like this this is not good um and i've got like the, i mean how do i win this game i'm like okay here's how i win this game my opponent's lando goes to sleep they take a nap hopefully they i dodge fly too um but if, if I hit my Sing here on this Landorus, then I can win this game. If the um, I'm gonna put a special defense boost on my on my on my Clefairy, so I'm gonna be able to take this Thunderbolt. The Reggie Lucky can't do anything to me. So if so, I'm gonna survive this this fly for sure. This Reggie Lucky won't be able to knock out my Clefairy. I have a lot of speed boosts. What I can do from this point is I can Sword Stance a bunch of times, and then maybe I can win with my Landorus. That's my thought process here. That's how I win this game. So the red, like he does go for the Thunderbolt into Clefairy. That's going to do some damage, but it's not going to knock me out. Fly does go into Lando, and I live with such low HP. I'm like, ah, oh, that's not good. I'm not going to be able to take another uh, Life Orb hit, and Sing misses. And I'm like, yep. Sing was about the only semblance of chance that I had left in this game. Um, but I don't think even it would have been enough, because my Landorus has to knock out all their Pokemon. Um, they've certainly got Moltres in the back. Um, how do I do it at this point? I'm like, okay. There's only one way I can win this game. Um, and that way is them going back to sleep with... with like, I have to put them to sleep with Kefairy. Um, and I can't I can't use Rock Slide because I'll knock myself out. Um, so I can't go for that. I, I can't go for a damaging move. So I have to go for SD. So I at this point, I have to hope that their Landers just misses all their attacks. Um, and if they miss all their moves, then I can win this game. And the Reggie Lucky goes to protect. I'm like, yes! That means they didn't go for Thunderbolt. I'm like, oh, I can do this. I can do this. I'm like, all right, Sword Dance. I'm like, they, 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 if they click move, that can miss. They click move, that can miss. I click moves, that can win me the game. Um, Rock Side comes out. Clefairy dodges, but not the Landorus. <laughs> if Landorus and Clefairy dodge there, which, by the way, were necessary, both of them had to dodge, and I had to put the Landorus to, sing, to uh, sleep with Sing, which I don't even do here, so... I mean, it's Omega over now. <laughs> uh, there, there's no way I can win now because they've got a, they're going to have Moltres in the back, and um, I, I can't KO the Moltres quickly enough. Even if I somehow manage to knock out both of these Pokemon with my Spectrier, which I obviously am not going to be able to pull off unless my opponent KO, like, unless they become ring target on Landorus and they Thunderbolt themselves. <laughs> but if they don't KO themselves, they, give, they have enough health left. So that way, my Snarl can actually pick up a knockout. Yeah, um, all of these things are definitely not going to happen. An Electroweb hits under my Spectre. Uh, I think that was kind of a misplay. Um, I mean, relatively speaking, um, you can just go... I think you can go for Thunderbolt and wrap this thing up. Like, Thunderbolt TQ into my uh, Spectre, I think, is unpunishable. But I do get the Snarl off... Um, Shockingly, it does not knock out the Landorus. <laughs> um, and although I will get a Grimnay boost, um, this game is over. Um, I think it was over from turn one. My opponent made such a good play. Um, that's a, such a good best of three play. Um, you go all in there, um, and he got rewarded super hard for it. Like I, I hope he was popping off um, when, when he did that play, because that was honestly super cool. I didn't expect them to do that. Maxing Spectre is something that's very uncommon with this team. Uh, and yeah, this this game's a wrap. Uh, Earthquake should knock out both my Pokemon. Even if it doesn't, a Fiery Wrath will pick up their remaining HP. And that's my match there versus Leonardo Bononomi. So I lose the mirror. Um, what I thought was a pretty good set um, came down to plays. Um, and not like... They didn't feel like 50-50s. In the sense of, does he protect or does he not protect? They felt like... They felt like genuine adjustments from both players. They felt they felt like it felt like a genuine good game. And I haven't had one of those in a long, long time. Um, I had plenty of good games in my regional qualifier set, but that felt like that felt good. That felt that, that felt like a good game. Like you can't be upset about losing that one. And so I wasn't feeling bad at all after that game. I was, you know, hoping that I would move on, um, especially since my uh, prospective bracket after this would have been really good. I would have played against the same team that I beat in winners round one. Um, and so that would have been good. And you also see on stream how easily Leonardo dismantles it with his team. Um, 
thinks, especially in part two of the Spectrier, but uh, can't complain about that, um, about the bracket that would be. Um, this is the bracket that was, and Leonardo was able to defeat me with a solid uh, game three there. I, I thought that was just a great play from his part, and that carried him all the way. So, that being said, um, thank you for watching, and hopefully you stick around to watch my next match in Losers Round 2.